Exodus, the 20th chapter, verses 1 through 17. Go ahead and read. And God spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image, or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquities of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me, and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work, thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife, nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is thy neighbor's. Ecclesiastes, the twelfth chapter. Verses 13 and 14. Here. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. For God shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. Revelations 22. Verses 14 and 15. Go ahead. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they might have right to the tree of life, and may enter in through the gates into the city. For without our dogs, and sorcerers, and whoremongers, and murderers, and idolaters, and whosoever love and make of a lie. And this is the law that we read every Sabbath day as a reminder. We welcome everybody here home to the Israel of God. I'm Brother Thin. Reading for me today would be Brother Tanzel. We got a nice little treat for you today. I like to give treats. And the reason why this lesson came about is because we talk about the end time. We talk about the last days. But we talk about it in bits and pieces. And when you ask a person, well, how does it go from beginning to end? They don't have it to where they can put it in its proper place and order. And I've always, always wanted it to be put in the proper order and to give you a pictorial of how it's laid out. 
You follow me? I know you do. <laughs> so I put together this lesson with the help of this brother in Mississippi. What's the brother name? I forgot the brother name. I quit. <laughs> Let's see, that comes from just being nervous. And then Tom Darnell, <clears throat> I, I, it'll come to me again. But anyway, that being said, we put this together for you all. You know, I don't care if you enjoy it or not, but we're going to lay it out for you. Because the Lord got everything to where he need everybody to know at his time, when it's time for you to know. So today's lesson is, you better get ready. End time, timeline. Let's get into it, because we'll have them here to this time tomorrow, and I, wanna, you know, I don't want to get in trouble, you know? Right, right. So that being said, Matthew's the 24th chapter, because they asked Jesus something. And Jesus laid it all out for him. They asked Jesus something, and he laid it all out. Matthews 24. And pick it up at verse 3. Do you get that, Tanzel? Go ahead and read. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? They asked him a question. When shall these things be? What is the sign of your coming? In the end of the world, that was a direct question. And we're going to lay it out to where it bring it all the way down from our time forward. Do you understand that? Because a lot of people got problems on what's going on. It's a lot of issues out here you think we're not addressing. But we're going to address them today. See, mental illness, killing, stealing, lying, backbiting. We're going to address it, people. It's going to get ugly. People losing their minds. You hear me? Mm -hmm. And you think we're not addressing the issue. Yes, we are. We surgeons. We go for the most extreme to the least. You're in the operating room, people. It's the emergency room. We're going for the severity. And it's severe out here. And we're bringing it down. Okay? Continue reading. He says, so tell us, when should these things be? What should be the sign of your coming and not the end of the world? Jesus is going to run it down to you. Go ahead and read. And Jesus answered and said unto them, take heed that no man deceive you. Top of the line. Don't let nobody lie to you. Don't be deceived according to this word. Adults, you better read for yourself. Go ahead and read. And many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ. And she'll deceive many. Many people are going to say, I'm Christ. And they're going to deceive many. They have. This place is where they say, this is the word of God from Christ. And they deceive many people. Go ahead and read. And ye shall hear of wars. Yes, sir. And rumors of wars. Yes, sir. And see that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. He said, wars. Rumors of wars. But hey, these things must come to pass. Stop getting alarmed. It must come to pass. Read. For nation shall rise against nation. Yes, sir. And kingdom against kingdom. Go ahead. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in divers places. Hey, nation shall rise against nation. You shall have famines, pestilence, earthquakes in different areas. In places you're not expecting it to happen. Go ahead and read. All these are the beginning of sorrow. Oh, this is the beginning of you starting to cry. Yeah, there's a lot of crying going on in these days. Trust me, the brother that helped me put together the pictorial this, he had two funerals to attend. We just read that the 17-year-old just got killed on lunchtime. We got to take in refugees that just came in on Friday because they're trying to flee their area. Right. It's rough. Are we going to address some issues? Go ahead and read. Then Was that the end of fifth? Go ahead, all the way to 15. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted. Yep. And shall kill you. 
and you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Oh, it's going to get ugly out here for serving the Lord. It ain't pretty, people. I don't know why y'all painting this picture of a beautiful picket fence. That's not the type of party we about to create. This is the after party, and it get crazy. Go ahead and read. And then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, yeah. and shall hate one another. Be offended. People, listen to what it's saying. People going to betray you. That's why a lot of people are not in this world of God now. They elsewhere. Every, all the apostles stayed with Jesus. They didn't flip-flop. Only one did, and he betrayed them. But the rest stayed held, bent tight. Right? Mm -hmm. People going to hate you. Yes, you have haters. They do not like you. For what reason? I don't know. I just don't like you. Read. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. And many people in this place is going to rise and deceive many. Read. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Hospitality is gone. I do not love you. I do not like you. Because sin is so prevalent. Why are you crying? I've warned you. Read. For he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be this saved. This is what you must endure, people. So wipe your eyes. You got to take care of this. Get back out there on the field and play. <laughs> what are you doing? This is not halftime. I'm going to show you when halftime come, and you ain't going to like it. Read. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. That's why this right here told you social media was coming about, because you got to go everywhere, and you can't be in all places at once. See, ain't nothing new. He told you. You're going to be preaching. We're preaching on all streams. We streaming and we live. Which one you want? But you're going to hear. And you're going to hear by somebody passing by. Finish it. Was that 15? That was the end of 14. Go ahead to 15 and we skip. Go ahead. When ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation, spoken of by Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place, so read it. let them understand. I'm giving you another cue. When you see this abomination standing in the holy place, Whoso readeth, let him understand. We're going to give that understanding today, okay? We're going we're gonna to paint a picture for you. So you can't have no excuses on what you're seeing and what's happening and when it's going to happen. You follow me? I know you are. So this is one of the main ingredients that's going into play. The abomination of desolation, right? Go ahead to 16. And then let them which be in Judea. Flee into the mountain. So when you see this, you got to flee. Okay, skip down to 21. Read the rest on your own, people. Read the rest on your own. We skipping around, okay? Skip down to verse 21 and go ahead. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. No, nor ever shall be. So once you see this abomination and you flee, once you've been through all the sorrows, the beginning of sorrows and all that, now it, here comes hey. Great tribulation. Uh-oh. I told you, it's the, the pot is thickening. it. The hills are most steep. The climb is higher. Did you finish that? Yeah, in the 21. Continue to 22. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. People ain't playing by the rules. You get into some, any confrontation with people. I'm not going to slap you. I'm going to slap you, but with something you ain't expecting. And it's going to take your life. They don't play by the rules now, people. All bets are off. You follow me? Mm -hmm. So the Lord know this. And if he don't come quick, it's going to take out a lot of people. Skip down to 27. Go ahead and read. For as the lightning coming out of the east, and shine of even into the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. This is how the Lord is coming. He letting you know step by step 
how it is. Once this tribulation, okay, heavens open up. Here I come, right? Mm -hmm. Skip down to 29 and continue. Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be dark. Uh-huh. And the moon shall not give her light. Go ahead. And the stars shall fall from heaven. Yes, sir. And the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. And he let you know it's about to go on to another segment. You got the first segment. I'm giving you something else. And he let you know. Sun go out. Moon turn to blood. Stars fall. What's next? Don't look like it's getting easier yet, is it? Keep it going to 31. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. Go ahead. And then shall all the trials of the earth mourn. Yes, sir. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. You see the God coming down with power and great glory. He letting you know step by step by step. See, I like this God. Step with me. Step to the left. That's how he do it. He guides you through it. See, I got to be, see, I do this to make it simple for you. So, now we see the Lord coming, right? Mm -hmm. Did you finish the 31? Yeah, 31 now. Go ahead. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect, from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. You got the trumpets going off. We're going to get to all this. We're going to lay it all out on how Jesus told you. Right? Skip down to 44 and continue. Therefore, be ye also ready. Be ready. Go ahead. For in such an hour as ye think not the Son of Man cometh. Now, let me tell y'all something, people. Stop playing. The Lord ain't condemning nobody. All he says, be ready. Get yourself in order. See, I like Jesus. He don't condemn nobody. He just says, stop playing and get yourself in order. Was that 44? Skip down to 46 and continue. So blessed that servant. Uh huh. Well, Miss Lord, when he comes, she'll find so doing. And he wants you doing what you're supposed to do. So if he finds you doing what you're supposed to do, he's going to bless you. We're going to get to that. Go ahead. So verily I say unto you that he shall make him ruler over all He's going to let you ruler over his house. I like that. That's a beautiful 401k plan. That's the gift that keep on giving. Mm -hmm. You got to understand what y'all reading, people. Some of y'all that ain't never ruled nothing, do what the Lord say, then you can run anything you want in under the hand of God. Skip down to 50 and continue. What he said about the Lord. The Lord of that servant shall come in a day when you look not for him and in an hour that he is not aware of. Listen, people. People are getting killed every second on the hour. Watch yourself. Even servants of God. We open season. I'm going to show you that. Stop playing. I had to tell myself that. If they're not, hey, listen, if people lead a class, let them leave. They grown. I had, to, I had to remember that. We grown. If they're not here, no problem. There's more room for other people to sit down. Trust me, you put your hand to the plow and you draw back, leave them alone. We worry about the ones who want to keep it going. Finish the 51. And shall cut him asunder and appoint him his portion with the hypocrisies. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. You don't want to get your portion cut with the hypocrites. You don't want to be cut asunder when you knew better. People. Everybody here, your goal is to get into that first sec resurrection. That is it. Not just the kingdom of God in the first. If you come up in the second, you in trouble. You did it wrong. You got to stand in the line and wait. And be careful and fearful and afraid of what's going to happen. I ain't got time for that. You know you've been out there wrong and you took a test to see if you had an STD. Yeah, you scared now. <laughs> Shouldn't have been out there reckless. <laughs> Protect yourself and do right, and you ain't got to worry. <laughs> I'm just 
addressing the issues, people. See, y'all think we don't address issues around here. But in this, in this lesson, you're going to find out one. Now, he ran it down, right? Mm -hmm. He said, no man deceive you. Can you put P1 up there? P1 on wars and rumors of wars. I want that to go up. P1 on wars and rumors of wars. That's what's going to happen. Ukraine and Russia is going on now. What are y'all playing around here? P1 nation shall rise against nation. Nation shall rise against nation. That's what's going on. P1 on nation shall rise against nation. Can I get that picture? Rise against the nation. Y'all think it ain't? Why you think you got two great nations? You got Eastern and Western Europe. And they running it, people. Let me get famines and pestilence. P1, famines and pestilence. Scroll across. People, do you know what famines is? People, people are hungry out here. Do you know what pestilence is? It ain't just roaches and rats. Let me tell you what a pestilence is. It's a fatal epidemic. A disease that is virulent and devastating. That's what COVID-19 did to the world. What you thought it wasn't coming? Monkey pox. Hey, AIDS didn't go nowhere. Cancer ain't never stopped. Hepatitis, herpes, what you, come on people. It's the operating room. Y'all better stop taking down my pigeon until I say it. <laughs> That's the operating room. That's how it was when COVID kicked off. He said earthquakes in diverse places. Give me P1 earthquakes in diverse places. Earthquakes in diverse places. People, check out the news. It's still earthquakes going on. They're just not telling you about it. And it's happening in areas that have never had this happen. Right? Give me the next pitch with all four of them. Now, you say, well, Brother Thin, we just went over that because this is what's happening all at once. I'm giving you a prelude of how it is in the end time. You're going to have four different things coming down on you at one time. You understand what we're doing? You got wars and rumors of wars, nations and rise against nations, famines and pestilence, earthquakes, in diverse places. That's a lot going on, people. On top of the other crime. Haters. On top of people deceiving and killing. Because the love of many has waxed cold. So it's a lot of things going on at once in the earth. Right? Now. This is the first part the Lord was telling to his disciples. Did you hear anything about a seal being open? He ain't say nothing about the seal, but we see this is going on right now, right? So, the next thing he said, hey, the abomination of desolation. Put P2 up there. Abomination of desolation, stand in the holy place, right? Let me read something. Keep that up there. Because you say, what is this doing? Go to Revelations 11 and keep your mark in Revelation. If you can't keep up, watch the board and write it down because we're not waiting on you. Revelation 11, pick it up at verse 1. I ain't got time to wait. Revelate, because it's, hey, we're in the operating room. It's an emergency, people. We got to kill this problem. It's an emergency going on. Revelations 11, pick it up at verse 1 because if he's in this temple, we don't see no temple over there. You got to build a temple. Read Revelations 11 and 1. Go ahead and read. And there was given me a reed like unto a rod. And the angel stood saying, Rise, and met at the temple of God, and the altar, and them that worship therein. He said, measure this temple, and them that worship therein. This is the temple of God. But he says something you got to 
Pay attention to. Go ahead and read. But the court. But the court. Which is without the temple. Which is without the temple. It's not part of the temple. It's without the temple. What? Leave out. Lead us out. Why? Measure it not. Why? But it is given unto the Gentiles. This place is given to the Gentiles. Go ahead. And the holy city shall they tread under 40, under foot 40 and two months. He said this city they shall tread for 40 and two months. That's three and a half years. Put the abomination of death. There we go. I, I love y'all for that. So when you see this person, go to P2, flee to the wilderness. Get your bags and head out. That's when it's time to head out. Go to the next picture with both of them, Abomination and Flynn. So if you, we just a recap. When you see him standing in that temple, in that courtway that they're going to build this temple in, and he acting like he God, get your bags, and it's time to go. Ain't no more teaching from Israel of God. I'm gone. <laughs> Trust me. See, we got to make it plain around here. We gone. You can take the chance. Everybody quiet. Everybody gone. Too late. You can stay around if you want. I'm not doing it. You follow me? Did you finish today too? Keep your mark in Revelation because we're going to be in and out of that all day. Revelation 6. Go ahead. Revelation is the sixth chapter. Because look. You got this abomination of desolation standing in this holy ground. It's time for him to do something, people. He's going to be doing some major stuff, right? We're going to see what he's going to do. But before he start doing it, seals got to be opened up. Now, you see all this happened. Did we read about any seals? If anybody come to you and say a seal is open, say have a nice day and walk away. I'm trying to be the nice then. Revelations 6, pick it up at verse 1, Tanzel. Go ahead and read. And I saw when the Lamb opened one of the seals, and I heard as it were the noise of thunder, and one of the four beasts saying, come and see. Now this seal was open, sound of thunder, come on and see what's going to happen. Go ahead and read. And I saw, and behold, a white horse. Go ahead. And he that sat on him had a boat. Yes, sir. And a crown was given unto him. And he went forth conquering and to conquer. Now this person had a crown on his head. That means he ruled. And he went forth to conquer and to conquer. What the Lord mean by that? What the Lord mean by conquer and to conquer? This is the Pope, people. I ain't got time to play. You can, you can pick a lot of these lessons up. I'm just giving you the main details so you can place it in this right order. This person that's conquering and to conquer is the one that you've seen standing in the holy place, right? He went forth to conquer and to conquer, right? How did he go forth to conquer and to conquer? Go to Revelations 13. We're going to show you what he did to try to conquer this earth, to try to conquer the people. Revelations 13, pick it up at verse 5. When you get that, brother, go ahead and read. And there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemy. He had, yeah. And power was given unto him to continue 40 and two months. Now, the time period where he going to do this it's three and a half years, still 40 and two months. He's going to be blaspheming who? God. Doing the things contrary to God. You follow me? And he also going to be doing what? Speaking miracles. This dude going to have power. He's not like a regular guy. Read. And he opened his mouth and blaspheming against God. Yeah, read. To blaspheme his name. And his tabernacle and them that dwell therein. He just told you crazy all around the board. You got a lot of people out here that do the same thing. Read. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints. He gonna make war with the who? The saints. Yeah, I'm about to get up with you. I'm not playing with you. In so many words, I'm coming at you. Saints. People that call themselves servant of God. I'm coming at you. He went to make war. You know what war is? That means death. That means bloodshed. That means crime. So you can go into other lessons. We got other lessons that go into more details. He said to make war with the saints. Go ahead. And to overcome them. Yeah, he going to overcome them. 
and power was given him over all kindred and tongues and nations. He's going to overcome all the saints that's not in the right place. We're going to bring that about. Just hold on. We're bringing out everything today. So he went to wake more with the saints, right? Mm -hmm. And then he was dealing with people in different kindreds, tongues, and nations. That means he was doing this to everybody. Right? Continue. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him, whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the your world. Your name not written in the book? Sledgehammer going upside your head. <laughs> I'm just trying to be pretty for you. Right? Give me P, P3. Give me P3. He said the first seal was open. Now, pick it up at 13. And he's doing great wonders so that he make a fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. He made fire come down. You ain't never seen that. Go ahead and read. And to see them that dwelled on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast. He got power to do miracles. You're going to think they're miracles of God, but they're not. And if you don't know the word of God, you're going to be deceived. See, you ain't know that. You ain't never seen that type of play. This ain't computers, people. And the next can't. Keep reading. Saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live. See, they're making a wound. Keep reading. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. He had power to give life to that image of the beast that's right there. Read. That the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. He do it with, with Nebuchadnezzar made that image. Same thing. It's just happening in your time. Don't die and don't get killed and you will see this. Two things. Don't die and don't get killed. Okay? Those are the two things you got to avoid happening. And you will see this. Continue. And he calls all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. You had to receive this mark. I got to know that you with me. Right hand, forehead. If you ain't got no hands, I got your forehead. Follow me? See, y'all be thinking, you know what I mean? Come on now. Finish it. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast. See, it was the mark. If you got his mark, if you got his name, or what? Or the number of or his the name. number on him. See, that's why I stopped saying it's a chip. It says his mark, his the name, or the number, people. Those are simple things. You see a chip right there? You ain't gotta do all that. I remember when we got in, when we used to go out and, 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 and when we were going to certain house parties, they took a mark and they put a mark on you, right? Simple. I know you pay. You can go on in the party. So this is what this guy doing. Receive a mark. Make a statue walk. And you can't buy a sale if you don't have proof that you're with me. Right? Now, if you take the mark, what's going to happen? Go to Revelation 14. People, let me tell you something. I was talking to somebody on the job. Good guy. He said he'd take the mark, but I knew he didn't know what he was doing. And I told him about it. Because he was used to taking the Edge Wednesday mark. Revelation 14. Pick it up at verse 9. People, it's not a good thing if you take that mark. Revelation 14 and 9, go ahead and read. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast in his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand. If you worship the beast or his image, you got a mark on you. See, if you even worship him, then you're in trouble. See, I probably didn't get the mark, but you worship him. You're going around, you, you just parading him all around. What's going to happen? The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God. You're going to drink of that wrath, people. I'm going to kick your fill in the blank. Of God. Read. Which is poured out without measure into the cup 
of his indignation. Now this wrath is poured, is poured out without, without mixture. That means he got unlimited killing, he got unlimited whatever he want to do to you in this mixture. You know without mixture? That means he ain't softening it. This ain't no chaser. You're drinking this alcohol with nothing in it but 100% proof. No ice and no coke. <laughs> Go ahead. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. I'm going to deal with this guy that got people doing that. They're going to be tormented and this guy going to be tormented that's doing this stuff. Keep reading. And the smoke of their torment a senator forever and ever. Uh-oh, somebody going to be cooking forever and ever. The barbecue smoke ain't never going out. <laughs> Read. And they should have no rest day or night. Ain't no intermission in this, people. Whether daytime or night, you going to get roasted. The barbecue grill don't never stop. Y'all see how long the, the sun been burning? It's been burning ever since everybody been in here living. Y'all better see the Lord show you things. The Lord show you things. Them earth, them other planets that's out here been sitting there, dormant, just sitting. Mm -hmm. Let you know just how long the Lord can let things sit. Until I'm ready for it. See, y'all don't be thinking on that level. Finish it up, bro. Who worshiped the beast in his image and whosoever received the mark of his name. Now, they got a special thing happening to them. If you worship that image. Let's go to the second seal. Revelations back to Revelation 6. That was the first seal. Revelation 6. Pick it up at verse 3. Revelation 6 and 3. When you get that, brother, go ahead and read. And when he had opened the second seal, I heard the second beast say, well, come and see. Now, this is the second seal. Now, the first seal said they got to receive a mark. Anybody in here got the mark of the beast? Y'all know where they're giving it out at? Who want to go get it? So don't let nobody tell you about no seal. The seal come under the mark. And that don't start doing what? Tribulation. When you didn't flee, you in the place of safety. We showed you the rundown. So we got to stop this nonsense, people. He opened up the second seal and what happened, Tenzel? And there went out another horse that was red. And power was given unto him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth. Is peace still on the earth? Yeah, it is. You want to know why? Because y'all slept peacefully. Was somebody standing over you sweating when you woke up that you didn't recognize? <laughs> was you out three and four in the morning and was there not a lot of cars out? You hear explosives. Jet fighters were dropping bombs on you. You heard that? Then it's still peace. Then where's the second seal open up at yet? Finish it to four, Tanzel. And that they shall kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. Now, give me P4. Give me P4. He said, second seal, no peace on the earth. And people killing one another. Anybody been killed sporadically? I'm not saying because you did something to get killed. Are you getting, getting killed just for people for sake of killing you? That's not happened yet, is it? It's peace taken from the earth. I just showed you an example of that, right? So this is going to happen, but it hasn't happened. Stop listening to these brothers that's out here on some straight up nonsense. Continue it to move. Was that in the four? That was in the four. Let's open up that third seal. Go to, go skip down to the fifth, fifth verse. Go ahead and read. And when he had opened the third seal, I heard the third beast say, come and see. What do you want me to see? Go ahead. And I beheld and lo, a black horse. And he that sat on him had a pair of balance in his hand. Now, I'm tired of coming and seeing because it looks like every time I'm seeing on something, it's getting worse. But the Lord wants you to check it out. Right? He said he had a pair of balances, right? Mm -hmm. 
right? All the way to six. And I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say, a measure of wheat for a penny, and three measures of barley for a penny, and see thou hurt not the oil and the wine. And see thou hurt not oil or the wine. So now they sitting here and they measuring out who going to get what on the earth. Now let me ask y'all something. Y'all got a refrigerator full of food. Anybody measuring anything out to you? You do it look like I'm anybody measuring anything out to me? <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Give me P5. P5. He said the famine is on the earth. The famine ain't on the earth yet, people. We eating good. Some of y'all just went Sabbath shopping. They ain't got a hot meal before the Sabbath ended. We got a problem with cooked food. We got to eat so much outside food. Give me T1. Give me T1. This is the first timeline, people. With everything we said in order. Wars and rumors of wars. First seal open. Abomination of desolation. We got it all there for you. You got to take a picture. We're going to have something for you laid out for you. Because I know you're going to be click, click, click. <laughs> I'm ahead of the game, people. That's the first timeline, right? It's the first timeline, right? Let's keep it going. Skip down to verse 7. This is the fourth seal. Verse 7 and read. Go ahead. And when he had opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth be say, Come and see. Uh oh. We got to see something else. Yeah. Check it out. What did he say? See. Go ahead. And I looked, and behold, a pale horse. And his name that said on him was Death. And hell followed with him. And power was given unto him over the fourth part of the earth to kill with sword and with hunger, and with the death, and with the beasts of the earth. Now, let me show y'all something. Put up P6. Put up P6. Now, he said a quarter of the earth would kill with sword, hunger, death, and the beast. Let me explain something to you. Even though it's happening on a certain part of the earth, it's going to affect everybody. If you're not in the place of safety, it's going to affect everybody. It's just like when the pandemic happened and everybody, jobs were not being produced. So now you delayed on getting this ship to you, this ship to you. It was a setback. They was running out of disinfecting supplies. They was running out of certain food supplies. It's going to have a ripple effect on everybody. If you're not in a place of safety, it's going to have an effect on you. Even though it may be happening over this part of the world, it's going to hit everybody. Just like that pandemic. You know it's going to hit over here. Everything chaotic. We waiting for everything to be chaotic. So we can have a reason to act the fool. I've been waiting to get at you. <laughs> you think it ain't going to affect you? I don't know why it's going to affect you. Mm -hmm. With hunger, with the sword, you already know our swords ain't regular sword that they pull out of the sheath. It's guns with steel bullets mm -hmm. that cut through flesh. And with the beast, they're going to have the animals tearing you up. And when you get to that lesson, because we can't read everything, they're going to be doing catastrophic things. We couldn't put everything in here. We're just giving you a prelude. So when you got this timeline, you know where to put the things we didn't say or we didn't speak about in this right order. It's kind of quiet. Nah, I didn't tell nobody to be quiet. <laughs> P6. We got that P6. Let's give it another prelude to P6. Right? P6. 
Be sick. There you go, man. Somebody better stop jumping ahead. P6. Now, that's what's going to happen. That's a reminder, right? Keep reading. Skip down to verse 9. Skip down to verse 9. Go ahead and read. And when he had opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of God and for the testimony which they held. Now, people, ain't nobody under the altar in heaven. These are just the saints getting slain for the word of God. Because everybody ain't going to make it over there to the place of safety. The Lord know that. That's why he went back to make war with the saints. Right? Mm -hmm. Continue. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, dost thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth? Yeah, because when the Lord got avenged, somebody got to make an atonement for doing all that, that wickedness. I got to get some bloodshed for that. That's why a lot of death is happening, people. Sin bring in death. Read. And white robes were given unto every one of them, and it was said unto them that they should rest yet for a little season. I'm going to let you rest for a little season. Go ahead. Until their fellow servant also and their brethren that should be killed as they were. Night. To be fulfilled. Now you got. Fulfilled. Now you got. He letting you know it's gonna be certain saints that's gonna get killed. I'm gonna let you get killed, but you just gonna rest and sit tight. Just sit tight. But some more people gotta die. Just like you. Y'all forget John the Baptist was he was beheaded. His head got chopped off. That was Jesus' cousin, according to the flesh. They stoned Stephen. And they beat the brakes off Jesus. That's for the old, that's for the, for the, old, for the, for the, for the young one. Beating the brakes off, meaning they beat him half to death. His beatdown ain't, ain't like beatdowns you see on YouTube. They was worse. He was marred more than any man. And Matilda ain't had nothing on Jesus. Tell me. So these are all saints. So what make you different? What make you excluded from that? So you ain't ready for that. Hold on, don't get up yet. <laughs> don't get up yet. Now, as they killing the saints, the Lord, you see all this damage and happening to the saints and on the earth, right? But the Lord always bring in something to offset it. Cause he don't. Cause if you don't have nothing to offset, and you don't have a just balance, all the bad will overtake everybody. Revelations eleven. Cause it was two guys that was on the set already when this all started. That was in the mix, doing helping God and doing what he's supposed to do. Revelations eleven. Pick it up at verse three. Revelations eleven and three. When you get that Tanzel, go ahead and read. And I will give power unto my two witnesses. And they shall prophesy a thousand two hundred and three score days, clothed in sackcloth. Yeah, they started prophesying. They started doing their thing in that three and a half years, too, or in that 42 months. He just broke it down in days. Two hundred and three score days. A thousand two hundred and three score days. He just breaking it all down. Same time frame, same timeline. Now, you see how all this is happening all at once? Y'all see all this stuff happening. It's just like we just, we gave the three pictures of what was happening, but it's all happening at once. Look at all this stuff happening. It seems like it keep adding on and adding on and adding on. Yes, it's the timeline for things to happen. So now, keep reading, Tanzel. These are the two olive trees and the two candlesticks standing before the God of the earth. Yeah, and if what are they going to be doing? And if any man will hurt them, Fire proceeded out of their mouth and devoured their enemies. Yes, sir. Now, if you try to hurt them, be burned up. That's it. See anybody like that? That's cold. I like to have something like that, huh? You got infernal talk. You got that infernal talk. Right. Read. And if any man will hurt them, 
He must in this manner be killed. Have you heard him? You, you, you not can't be killed, must be killed. Read. These have power to shut up heaven, that it rain not in the days of their prophecies, and have power to over, over waters to turn them to blood and to smite the earth with all plagues as often as they will. Now, they got power, turn water to blood, anything they want to do in play, they can do, and as, as often as they want. Do it, turn it off. Do it, turn it off. Do it, turn it off. These guys got power. See, y'all ain't never seen nothing like that. I even have it. That didn't sound right, did you? I have not either. <laughs> Go ahead. And when they shall have finished their testimony, the beast that ascended out of the bottomless pit shall make war against them and shall overcome them and kill them. See, they got to get killed too, just like he said, hold on, I got some more people that got to die. These two witnesses going to get killed. Now you say, why, Lord, you, you ain't have enough power to save yourself? When Jesus got killed, didn't he have power to save himself? But did he use it? When them two witnesses, they had power to get people up off of them, but did they use it? They was overcame. I was showing you something. We got power to do things. Read. And their dead bodies shall lie in the streets of that great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. Now, they're going to lie on the street dead for what? Their dead bodies for how many days? Three days. Three days. Now, look. This three days. Now, they dead. We're going to let them stay dead for a minute. They're going to be dead for three days. But let me show you what's going to happen within that three-day time. It's going to be a lot of stuff. But they dead now. On top of the other saints that got killed, on top of the other saints that's been already dead. Right? Right? Give me P7. The fifth seal was open. Two witnesses and the saints was dead, and they lying in the street, and the whole world just sitting over. First of all, why are you standing over somebody watching people dead? That's what we do. So let me tell y'all something, people. Stop doing that. Stop pulling out your phones, taping dead folks. Standing over them, watching them. But, they gonna, but the Lord got them watching them for a reason, all the way to 10, and we're going to continue. All the way to 10. Go ahead, Tanzil. And they of the people and kindred and tongues and nations shall see their dead bodies three days and a half and shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put in the grave. They won't even put them in the grave. They won't even put them in the grave, people. Finish it all the way to 10. And they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them and make merry. And she'll send gifts one to another because these two prophets tormented them that dwell on the earth. How we, see, that's what I always, they, people that don't serve the Lord are always thinking we're doing something bad to them. Because we're telling them right. You judging me. You racist. You don't like me. And they're going to be rejoicing over these guys thinking they did something good. Is that all the way to 10? Mm-hmm. So now, we see that, right? We see the death of the saints, right? And they sitting there, right? Let's keep it moving. Go back to the sixth chapter. Let's open that sixth seal. Back to the sixth chapter. Pick it up at verse 12. Six and 12. When you get there, Tanzel, go ahead and read. And I beheld. When he had opened the sixth seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, the moon became as blood. Oh, the earthquake. A great earth earthquake. The earth shook. Not just in certain places, the whole earth. Give me P8. Give me P8. Now, continue down to 16 once you finish 12. Go ahead. And the stars of heaven fell unto the earth, even as a fig tree cast of her untimely fig, when she is shaken of a mighty wind. Skip down to verse 16 and go ahead. And said to the mountains and rocks, fall on us, and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne, and from the wrath of the Lamb. 
For the great day of his wrath is come, and who shall be able and to stand? And who shall be able to stand? Amen. You better read it like you're supposed to be reading it. All that soft-spoken stuff, man. <laughs> Do it look like it's going to be something soft-spoken in that time? No, sir. You think people going to be, come here, please. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a yelling, yelling, screaming, and hollering. Right. Constantly. What are you doing? But that's what's going to happen. When you see that, that, that moon turn red, come on now. It ain't, it's going to be way redder than that. Stars falling. Heavens roll back like a scroll. Mm -hmm. And he's sitting there talking light. I'm going to be screaming and hollering. <laughs> Yo! Go over to Revelation 7. Let's keep it moving, people. We're not, we, we're trying to move. If you can't catch the scriptures, write them down. Revelation 7, because he had opened that sixth seal, right? Mm -hmm. Revelation 7, pick it up at verse 1. Go ahead. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth. Yes, sir. Holding the four winds of the earth, that the winds should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. Now, this wind is not regular wind. This is, these are armies stepping back and something holding them back to getting on you, getting at you. We ain't got time to break everything down. Like I said, I'm putting everything in order. You can go back so when you hit a lesson, you will know where to put everything at. You follow me? So you four angels holding back these four winds, right? Go ahead. And I saw another angel ascending from the east. Go ahead. Having the seal of the living God. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels. What did he say? To whom it was given to the earth and the sea. He Thank said, whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea. Go ahead. Saying, hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God in their forehead. Now all this drama going on, the Lord says, slow down. Hold up. Let's seal these servants. But they've been beat up enough. Let's put a seal on them. Because if you've been beat up enough and you survived it, you're worth getting a seal put on. See, that's why you, you got to stay steadfast in this thing, people. Stop jumping around. People that like to jump around, step back from them. They're unstable. The Lord likes people that steadfast. Stable and firm. You don't waver. You don't waver when a pandemic come around and you got all this stuff to say. And that ain't nothing new. Smallpox kicked it off thousands way ago. I ain't got time to be playing. Stay steadfast. Skip down to verse 9 and continue. After this I beheld, and lo, a great multitude, which no man could number, of all nations and kindreds and people, and tongues stood before the throne, and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and psalms in their hands. Now, put up P9. P9. P9, my brothers. Now, this is that army they're going to hold back. They holding back the armies of Eastern Europe and Russia and her allies. They holding back them armies. Y'all don't think they got army? They got an army that's huge, people. You better go Google them. They not playing. That's why if you ever notice these two political leaders over East and Western Europe, they just be going back and forth. They don't even say nothing about the U.S., they just always say something about the West or the East. You ever notice that? Go back and look. Let the West do this. And they, and they, and they letting you know who they talking about. Russia and her allies, they real bold. Anybody come over here and try to assist them in armies, we, we don't have a problem. Well, we, we give you band-aids and food, a couple of shells. But you see any, any of their allies go over there and help? You see any other army over there helping? I'm back here. 
So they ain't got your back, they got your bags. I ain't say I had your back, I said I had your bags. You go on up for it. I hold your bags. <laughs> See? This stuff is real out here, people. This is real. Right? What verse you in on, Tanzel? That was in the nine. Now he said, a great, which no man can number out to every kindred and tongue and nation that came out. They washed their robe. They, they, they made this thing. They were sealed. They had on white robes, right? This is great tribulation. But they, they, they overcame it. So yes, you can overcome it if you get caught in it. I don't want to do that. Place of safety is where they told me to flee. I had my orders. You want to wait around for Tanzel because he fumbling around trying to find his shoes or he want to wait for the new Jordans to come out? That's on you. <laughs> you want to wait till your lease is up? That's on you. You just bought you a brand new whatever, Bugatti new car and you, you want to test it out? That's on you. I'm gone. You can have everything that's left in my, I ain't even taking, I'm not even locking up the house. I'm not locking up nothing. <laughs> I'm not turning off nothing. I'm not even closing the refrigerator when I take whatever out. <laughs> I'm gone. So you want to hang around? That's your choice. Verse 13 to continue. And one of the elders answered saying unto me, what are these which are arrayed in white robes and which came they? What are these and when, where they come from? They was arrayed in white robes. What did he say? And I said unto him, Sir, thou knowest. Go ahead and read. And he, said unto, and he said to me, These are they which came out of great tribulation and have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. See, they made them white. They had to go through a lot of beating up, a lot of running, a lot of screaming, a lot of couldn't get no sleep. If you get caught in this thing, you're in trouble. Even if you're a saint, if you ain't in a place of safety, you in trouble. Hey!